Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a new tone tutorial for you for the FM9. Uh, I guess this can also be used for all the other fractal units as well. Uh, in the past, I've done a couple videos on how to dial in a Qtron or adrenaline uh, type of envelope filter in the filter block in the fractal. And I think I came up pretty short uh, in the past. Um, it might have been kind of close, but the other night I was dialing some stuff in, trying some different parameters, and I think I found something that will get you even closer. So I wanted to share that with you all today. Um, so let's go ahead and dive into FM9 edit, and I'll show you my signal chain and what I've done differently. So here's the signal chain. It's uh, basically all that you see uh, from another video on stereo uh, amps, uh, some John Mayer stereo amps. So I'll make sure to uh, tag that in the video. But the most important parts of this chain, we have the drive block, filter block. Um, I have a reverb at the end and here's uh, two amp blocks in a cab. Um, here is my two rock settings. Um, this is only for uh, stereo amps, or in my case, I found out it's more of like a dual mono type of setup. And I'll show you why in a second. The other amp is the band commander. And if you are wondering why is it at negative six dB and the other one at negative 12, um, it's because it's kind of a dual mono setup and I wanted more of the uh, two rock cabs, here they are, uh, a four by 12 rumble, two by 12 uh, two stone, and yeah, it's summed right here, which is why it's considered a dual mono setup. I could technically just put these straight up the middle if I wanted to. Um, reverb, South Church, nothing special there, one that I always use. All right. Let's go to the filter block. We're gonna turn this guy off. So in the past, um, here's what it kind of looked like. I would attach a modifier to the frequency and modifier to the Q. And I had all these different parameters. It was really kind of too warm, too fuzzy. So um, went ahead and changed it. So here are my new settings. We're doing a low pass on the fourth order. Uh, it just sounded right to me. Uh, left everything, I believe, stock, except for giving it a little bit of a level bump. Then right click here. Here are my new parameter ranges right here. So make sure you just copy this sub menu. And then I didn't do anything with attack and release or anything like that. So here's where I start adjusting uh, the attack and release and whatnot. So you go to the controllers, go to envelope slash manual, and then you have this top row right here, which is really important. So you have the, oh, you have the threshold, attack, release, gain, and some low and high cuts. The threshold is going to be, um, dependent on your pickups. So uh, something that's a uh, higher output is gonna have a different threshold. Attack, it's just um, basically it's letting you know how long it takes for it to, re it to uh, open up to its full frequency range. And the release is how long it takes for it to die off. Um, gain is really important. I think it's kind of like a cue 
Um, it's basically how hard it kind of spikes, but I'm going to go ahead and play a little bit for you right now. So I feel like this is more indicative of a Qtron. It's a little bit more bright, but you can really hear it open up and bloom, which I really, really like a lot. Um, these are my personal settings. Um, let's just see what the threshold does. So if I turn it up, not as much uh, bloom to it. And it's getting muddier as we go back. So, and then if it go all the way down, it gets super quacky. So you might be able to get some uh, Mutron type stuff. Um, but yeah, here are my settings. And now in the intro clip, I did turn on the drive block and didn't do anything special there except for this uh, basic tab. Go ahead, turn it on. I'm on the fourth position of my Michael SX Custom. These are Freylands. A neck pickup. All right, so there you go. That is my new filter block. Uh, tweak it to your liking. Uh, again, use the controllers uh, menu for that in FM9 edit, FM3 edit, AxeFX3 edit, uh, whatever you're using. Um, make sure it's dialed in for your pickups. And I hope you enjoyed it. I'm enjoying this one a lot more. Um, it's less muffled, uh, played along with John Mayer's I Don't Trust Myself With Loving You, and it sounds pretty spot on, um, and there's a lot less uh, low-end response, which is nice. Sometimes when you're playing through headphones and you're using the filter block for this purpose, um, and then you switch to like a more dry type of sound, it sounds really thin and tinny. Your ears just get really used to that uh, sweep and the low end. So um, I'm really digging this uh, preset right now. So I hope you enjoy it. Let me know how it works for you and we'll see you next time. Bye.